Please confirm me on that if you guys can see my screen. Okay, fantastic. Okay, guys, so let's get started. So till now we have completed list report and analytical list page. Yesterday I have given you an assignment and I believe people are still struggling with that. So what we can do is you can continue the same. You can continue your efforts. Try maximum for this weekend. If nothing works out, then we will give you the solution on Monday. Okay, so that's the plan we are having. Uh, apart from that, in analytical list page, there is, a, there is something called as KPI card. So KPI card is also part of assignment like I have told you earlier as well. So I'll give you some heads up on that tomorrow so you can spend some time on weekend. Okay. We also have a solution document for that, but uh, we would be uh, we would be providing you by Monday, but at least we need few people to come up with that because KPI card should not be that challenging. Okay. <clears throat> okay, apart from that, guys, uh, list report and analytical list which had their own benefits. Now we are going to start with the new thing that is your overview page. Before we talk about what is overview page, what are its benefits and all, so guys, let me tell you the architecture and the structure of overview page is different from list report and analytical list page. The architecture of Overview page of OVP, you can write the architecture of overview page is way different from list report and ALP. It has a lot of differences the way obviously the look and feel structure each and everything is different. There are a couple of different things that we have to do here. The way of building code is also a little different. The way of representing data is also different. Uh, okay. So that is all about overview page, okay? Now, in case of ALP and list report, just a second. In case of ALP and list report, we used single CDS file for multiple functionalities. Okay, we used single CDS file for multiple functionalities and we imported one single CDS file for them in the web ID as well. But in case of but in case of OVP for every different card, for every different card we will be using separate CDS. Okay, this is one important thing which is different in overview page. Uh, in case of ALP and list report, we used single, we used single card, we used single CDS for multiple functionalities. For ALP, we had three different layers. We had uh, visual filters, we had default filters, we have table in the data. So we have used all these things and we have used one single CDS. No matter joints and many things are there, but we have used one single CDS and that CDS has been registered as a gateway service and that CDS has been imported in our WebID project, okay? So all these things we have used single CDS, but uh, my dear friends, in the case of overview page, we would be using separate CDS for each and every card. So basically in overview page, we would be creating cards. OVP, different cards are developed. Popular, the one are table card, analytical card, and sometimes list card. We have stack card as well, we have other cards. So we have different, different kind of cards, but the most popular that are used in 99% projects are table and analytical, or we are able to suffice almost all the requirements. Uh, other kind, one card is just like a visiting card. You have list of all the employees. Once you click on that, then the specific employee details is displayed. Just as an example, so that is hardly used in any of the requirements. Okay, so there are various different kinds of cards that are developed, and for every card, for every card, a separate CDS file is maintained. 
okay for every card a separate cds file is minted it cannot be everything cannot be part of one single card okay like say for example in my application i have two table cards and one analytical card so there would be three cds files used for that number one plus there would be main cds which would initially generate the complete frame okay at the top we have one main cds generated we have one main cds generated which designs the top frame of it okay so these are few important things that we have to take care there are a couple of new things also that i'll tell you uh, let's look at some of the designs of overview page like this is our overview page see these are the different kind of cards like this is your list card okay so this the last one you can see off contract spend this is your table card data is displayed in the form of columns and charts okay and this purchase order management this is your analytical card even this all these things are your first and third are your basically list cards okay so this is all uh, one is this is one quick link as well so these are all the different different cards that are developed in overview page okay so that is these are the different different cards every card has its own features and functionalities see these are the different cards anyways in web if you see you have five options one is your analytical card one is list card then you have table card separate bar chart list we don't have we have link list and we have stack okay so i'll i'll before before starting technically i'll just show you one example this is my overview page this is my old project so if I want to add a new card, what I can do is I can right click anywhere, new, and here we have an option of card. Once I click on card, I can see these five options. See, we have list, we have link list, okay, we have table. Link list is basically, it will have a cross app navigation, but that can be enabled in others as well. So list and link list from a development point of view, you might have few changes, but not major. Then you have your table card and then you have your analytical card. Table and analytical is mostly used in all the requirements. Stack is hardly used. Stack is something that appears like a tile in Fury Launch, but how you can see a tile? Similarly, it appears like a tile in Fury Launch Pad, okay? So what major thing we have experienced from customers is instead of having a stack card inside your overview page, customers demand they need to have a separate tile outside the main frame so that they can navigate wherever they want to. So we would be primarily focused on table card and analytical list card and you will be getting the segment of list card that you can do it on your own. Link list and stack you can do if you really have more time and you should also have some data for that like here you have the list of contacts. So recent contacts if you want to click on any of the contacts it will show you the, it will navigate to some other page and it will show you the details. So you also need to have some data for that. But analytical card and the stable card we would be designing. Okay, so these are the main things that are being covered in most of the requirements. And these are the five different different kind of cards. For every card, we would be having a separate CDS file, a separate CDS for this, a separate CDS for this, a separate CDS for this, whatever we are doing. Okay, so these are a couple of important things that we need to understand, and there would be main CDS file. Okay, let me append new things as well. Okay, let, let's quickly have an overview. The architecture of OVP page is way different from list report and analytical list page. Adding to this, we don't have annotation modeler. <coughs> Extremely sorry. We don't have annotation modeler directly in, we don't have annotation modeler directly in OVP. Okay, we don't have directly in OVP. So if once once I create a template, once I create a structure, you yourself will analyze. We do not have an annotation modeler here, and the developments that we are doing it is nowhere required. But there is an option. You can right click and you can click on annotation and you can generate the same. In OVP page, we do not have annotation modeler directly, which is offered directly as a part of template. External anything add in list, you can do it. Okay. Uh, in case of ALP and list report, we use a single CDS for multiple functionalities, that is true. But in case of OVP, for every different card, we would be using a separate CDS. And at the top, we have one CDS generated which designs the top frame of it. Okay, so that is important thing. In OVP, different cards are developed. For every card, we have separate CDS file. 
for every uh, for every card a separate series file is maintained that's correct so table card analytical card list card i'll add others as well just a second so we had uh, we will follow this process just a second new card stack and link list stack and link list i would really suggest you you can avoid if you want but if you have additional time you can definitely do it else i'll suggest you to explore more and more things on table and analytical link list and stack okay so these are the five different kinds of cards that we develop in overview page okay so this is one important thing so guys remember one cds primary cds i'll be creating it today based on that we would be having nested cds okay so one one cds i'll be creating i'll be registering that as a gateway service and i'll be creating a new project in web ide a one overview page that overview page will be created based on the main cds and for every new card functionality that i have shown you we would be using that new card and we would be giving that reference cds name for the same okay so this is how it is developed uh today today or whenever you have some time if you want you can read it but you can skip it because uh, anyways the complete design and everything we are going to take care of that so next that's not a problem moreover guys uh, anal uh, this uh, overview pages mainly used overview pages mainly used for cross app navigations from uh, ovp to analytical or list report see you can do a cross app navigation technically from list report to anywhere for, uh, you can do cross app navigations in what all formulation combination you want but ideally ideally what we follow in our projects is we do cross app navigation from overview page to either list report or analytical list page ovp is very popular for cross app navigations guys this is not the adverted ui dot identification we are doing adverted ui dot identification is navigating from main page to detail page or main page to object page but cross app navigation is navigating from one application to different application navigating from this overview project to the analytical list project that you have created for the same ovp is very popular for cross app navigations navigation from one page to another page okay so this is what it is why it is uh, why so we would be doing a cross app navigation uh, from overview page to alp and list report you can do cross app navigation however you want to but this is most of the cases we follow this process okay so we navigate from overview page to any of the remaining pages moreover guys one challenge that we follow in most well, that we come across in most of the batches is most of the people are able to create overview they are able to create overview project and they are able to add the card they are able to see the card in fact once i select the card and once i click on next then they are not able to see the configurations that i have for it okay so they uh, so basically there is something that i want everyone to check it today so shekhar shekhar will help you on that if that doesn't work directly then you can achieve the same output in a different approach by using and building some code in your manifest file so i'll be guiding you how to handle that okay so in some of the cases it is not available even we are not sure why so that is one of the main thing i want you guys to check today itself because main cds we are going to create it today and nested cds whatever are required we can do it later okay so that is one important thing and moreover guys if you look at the overall overview page as well uh in list report and analytical list page we have selection fields we have all these things but we do not have we also have a go button to filter but in alp we do not have a go button as well oh, in, in overview page sorry in ovp we don't have a go button directly we do we don't have a go button directly to filter the data so how you need to handle this i'll tell you i'll be creating a small cds file now i'll activate it and then what i want you guys to uh, no no uh, and then what we are going to do is once we once we create that cds file 
in that you can you have already built the logic for selection field and value help what is required so you can use the same and then what you can do is once you use that then you see in your once you run your project then you see you won't have a go button then how filters are handled and what is the use of this case so what all values you will be passing in your selection fields so you just have to type and press enter it would be automatically populated for the specific card okay so once we do it practically i can show you <laughs> okay guys so let's quickly have a vision of all these things we have discussed so far first let's understand about overview page what all things we have and what all things we don't have what are the benefits and each and everything let me repeat everything in one go because revision is more important overview page overview page is basically first of all we do not have a annotation modeler directly in overview page whereas in list report and analytical list page we have a annotation modeler number 1 whereas in case of list report and analytical list page we will be using a single cds for all the functionalities whatever we have did so far like joins or whatever we have one cds okay but in case of overview page we would be creating each and every separate cds file for different different cards like for table card we would be using different for analytical uh, for analytical card different for list card also we would be using it different okay so all these things are there the third thing is uh, we do not have a go button we do not have a go button for filtering the data the data the filtering of data is directly by passing the values in our input boxes in the search helps in the value helps and then you can you have to press enter so that is how it is handled and these are the five different kind of cards that are being uh, developed in uh, overview page the highlighted one the very important one i'll make it as bold this is also little bit of important not that much so anyways i can uh, mark it these two you can only do if you have more the if you have some sufficient time okay <clears throat> yes and overview page is also very popular for cross app navigations navigating from one page to another page in overview page we do not have a go button directly to filter the data we would be writing that we would be writing the parameters in our selection fields and then we would be pressing enter for the same so i'll create a fresh cds now i'll register that as a gateway service and then i'll create a fresh project in over in web ide and then we'll do it so i'll do the complete process now once i'm done then you can do it and we can have some debate discussions for the same this is my cds i'll create a new cds file new data definition Z C D S overview page. Ah, uh, overview uh, main because this is this would be my main page, and then description. Overview main page. This is my C D S file, and then I can directly click on finish. Okay, so this is uh, the CDS file that we have a new CDS file that I have created. As of now, we won't be having any above annotations because we are creating a default. We are creating the main CDS file, so we we don't have to worry on that. Okay, so the first thing that we normally do is I'll give a SQL view name, Z CDS OVP main, anything of our choice. Audit a published true. okay here we do not have to write any piece of code we would be building the code here so i'll let me change the table name as well z sales data underscore head one key value is important anything of our choice you can have more than one key as well so i'll give key as item and then i'll be using key fields plant distribution channel and division plant distribution channel and division so we would see basically this is our main cds file so obviously selection item oh sorry 
uh, selection field would be coming but not the line items okay so that is uh, obviously we have to do it position starts with 10 and also has a gap of 10 And division division. Date filtering and date formatting anyways is required because we are going to create one table card based on date. Okay, so that is anyways important. I'll activate it and then I'll add it there. Uh, before doing everything, my main my main motive is each and every one of you should be able to see that. So let me activate. This is activated now. Okay, fine. Let me just run this. These are just the numbers coming, so you can either use this or you can use the descriptions for that. That's fine. Every 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 parameter has its own description, so you can use anything of it. That's not a problem. Okay, so once we are done with this, the next thing what we have to do is I need to register this as a gateway service. So I'll quickly do that. Add service. We can have this as local underscore CDS get service add selected service local this is done uh, filter Okay, this is active. Okay, sorry. Fine, that's it. One second. my CDS file, I'll go to web IDE, new project from template, query elements, 1.52, overview page, next, overview, 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 I'll then click on next. It's available here. We'll select this. I'll then click on next. We'll select this. Then next. Here, you need to select your entry type for filter. That is important, guys. Select your entry type for filter. That is important. Container, you can select fixed or uh, resizable, anything you want. Uh, better, I'll select resizable. And sorry, no analytical parameters. Enable live filter, yes. This live filter will help you to bring, uh, see on the right side, you can see an image. This is an image of an overview page. 
in the top layer you can see we have all these things and based on that we have these data coming in for the same and finally we'll click on finish if you do not select entity type for filter then uh, you won't be getting it properly so this is my overview page I'll open this test folder anyways I'll select and delete it you can see there is no annotation modeler here okay I'll select this component.js file and then let me click on run okay if I move it a step down I'm able to see all these things okay there is no go button based on the live you can type it and whenever you press enter we would be having the below cards here we would have be having the below cards and based on that you can filter the data the way you want okay so this is how we are going to do it so we would be creating these different kind of cards. We would be creating all these cards. So we would be having our, uh, we would be using this as a table card because table card is something that is very popular and that is used. And table card has a uh, table card. You can have a smooth cross app navigation as well. We can have a list as well. Uh, that is one thing. <coughs> okay, so you will see we don't have any go button here because this is represented in a different way. Few things I'll quickly do is I'll rename this in I18 in one thing, and I would be quickly adding one more date card because we would be filtering the date here as well. So that is important. Date is something that is almost used in each and every project. So we are trying to bring the same example every time so that we can utilize the same. And you can't see any annotation file here, but if you want, you can right click on your web app, select new. And here you have your annotation file. You can click on annotation file and you can create this annotation file. Okay, so this is how you can do it. All these things are there, but by default it is not required. Uh, because guys, every template has its own structure, its own usage and benefits. We do not have this here. So we are not going to do it. Okay, and that is one important thing. So let me quickly add one thing on the date the one which I use it everywhere. Okay, let me quickly add it and let me bring it there. Then you can practice the same. Meanwhile, one important thing what I want my participants to understand is, once I right click here, click on this new card. Sorry, not here. New card. On the You need to right click on your project, not on the web app, otherwise it won't come. Once you click on this new card, you should be able to see these options and once you move to the next screen, say for example if I select table and if I move to the next screen, I'm able to see all these template options and everything where I'll be selecting the data source and everything. I would be seeing all these options so I want my participants also to have this because in many, in couple of batches we, we have experienced that people are not able to see that, okay. So if you're not able to see still we can achieve the output, you need to maintain some code in manifest. In manifest.json guys, this is manifest.json is basically an app configuration file in which complete app details are maintained. Your application version, i18 and file path, CSS if you use CSS file path, your service path, your application title, each and everything. So this is nothing but this is your app title. Okay. So this is maintained here. And for every series you have this VA and WAN file. Now the more cards you would be creating guys, you would be finding the code here. You would be finding additional code that is generated. Okay, 
Here you see one global filter model. You can see this is a global filter and you have all these things. Enable live filter is true, okay? In, if, in that case, if you do not select there, then here it would come false and you can manually change true here as well. And see, here you have an option of cards. So the cards that you would be creating through code, uh, so, sorry, the cards you would be creating through process, that would be coming here as a code, okay? So you can do either ways. So we would be guiding you how to do that so that you can uh, drive the show in a simpler way. Okay. <clears throat> okay, guys. So not now. Do not start practicing until and until unless I tell you. Once I complete with date, then you can do this complete process and check how your cards are working. Are they giving you the same output? Or we are giving you an option of just a CDS file you can select and move. So here you here you need to add the card and we would be providing you the code for that. Okay. So that is one thing which is very important. And uh, adding this guys, uh, I, there are a few more features I need to tell here. Sorry, in OVP. Cards are displayed as draggable tiles. Fine, anyways, let's ignore it. Uh, okay, guys, so in overview page, cards are displayed as draggable tiles. What exactly I mean to say is draggable long tiles. So one would be appearing here, another would be appearing here, third would be appearing here. You can manually drag your cards from one place to another. No separate code, no separate development required. One card is here. If I want to rearrange it up, down, up, down, I can do everything. I have complete flexibility of that. Okay. So that is one thing. One card coming here, another here, third here. Third to one, one to two, two to three. Everything is possible. Okay, guys. So that that all things we have. Uh, I'll just change the name of my app title. Sales, sales overview. Sales overview page. I'll, that's fine. Huh, just a second, let me save this completely. This is saved. Okay, uh, it is looking little better than before, so we have did. Whenever, guys, uh, keep a habit, whenever you do the change, first of all, change your app title, and where you have to change all of you exactly know. One last thing I'm quickly going to add for month and year, because month and year, we are going to have a table card, and we would be doing some filtering on that, so that is important. Okay, uh, adding to this, guys, as, uh, as you have experienced, in case of list report and analytical list page, I have did the changes using config. I have did the changes using config for the selection fields, but here we don't even have annotation modeler and neither I am in a mood to create a separate annotation file. So if you open this, it would not appear in a way you are expecting. So one assignment that I have want to give everyone is apply your selection fields the way you have designed them in ALP and other pages. Okay. So do it the same way here as well, because here, here we don't have annotation modeler. You can create a separate annotation file and you can do it, but better you do the way you have done for list report. Okay. <clears throat> Let me quickly complete the date part. Once it is done, then uh, you guys can practice the same and check your cards the way it is responding to you. Okay. Still do not start practicing. Let me quickly complete the date logic.
same position 5 Let me replicate for all the 12 places. Yes, that is fine. Done. Down that side. Activated. I need to end the I need to add the selection field also so that without selection field it won't be even populating. Oh, sorry, my bad. Position would be 40. That is it. Activated. Okay, so this part is done now. That is it. No need to anything we have to do there. So we can directly refresh our page here. Okay, that is it. <clears throat> okay guys, uh, everyone create a new CDS file, replicate this code, register as a service, then create a new overview page. Let me quickly round, write down the steps so that it can help you in uh, future. Steps to create overview page. I'll give everything in detail so that if you want to add cards as well, you can do that. Steps to create overview page. Create a main CDS file, guys. This name is, uh, this matters a lot. Create a main CDS file. 
register as a service expose the service to OVP in web IDE these are the main things okay once this is done once this is done for various cards a new CDS file is created guys for various cards the five cards that I've shown you a new CDS file is created each and every new CDS file will be exposed as a gateway service once done we can add a new card in web IDE OVP project by right clicking it as simple as that okay guys structure is different first time you might have challenges now important things what you have to do now is first of all complete all the steps that I have done from CDS to OVP delete your test folder that is it see your output okay complete all the steps that we have did so far right click on your project right click on your project right click on your project click on add new card and then let me know and then see the way it is responding okay guys do these two things as of now let me know if you guys are not able to see the screen that I am able to what exactly I am saying is right click new card if you are not able to see some screen like this let me know and just for now click on any of the card table card and click on proceed a CDS file is not required as of now this is your main CDS and here you need to select the new CDS file that you would be creating anyways we haven't created anything as of now so just do these activities you have 10 to 15 minutes from now and let me know the way it is responding you okay guys be quick Sorry, I was on mute. Anyone has any question now? Can we choose any version greater than 1.52? Uh, no, 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 no. There is a reason for that not to choose greater than 1.52 because we are using 1809 system. And 1809 SAP system supports maximum 1.56 version. I'll make you understand at the time of deployment next week. So you can see your version and you can see SAP's your system version. So it shows 1.56. So if you have any version greater than that, then it might start creating conflicts. Moreover, I personally I have not checked any latest version because, uh, because most of the things what I need as a part of functionality. I'm able to do it with 1.52. So guys, don't use 1.3. It also use 1.52 only. Next week at the time of deployment, I'll show you. This is our 1809 box, and it is uh, the version is 1.52. So if you have higher versions than that, then it might conflicts. But where that should depend upon your uh, application UI version, no? No, 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 no. See, this is my this is my UI version, right? See, here you can check your SAP.UI version. So this is 1.52, right? And we are going to deploy this application in our SAP system. So that in uh, see, we have already deployed a lot of applications in that system, right? So it shows us your version is 1.52 and SAP system is 1.56. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, what I'm saying is like if it is. Even though it is 1809, and then if your SAP version, I mean application version, as in which is in SAP's, let's say like 
so then we can go ahead with mm-hmm. to, uh, creating application greater than 1.2 version na but at the time of deployment you might have conflict but actually lower to higher always was but higher to lower will will not support right that's what my experience is okay see uh, whenever uh, see right. now in the sec Yes, Ekali, you want to add something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. same issue. Like in the uh, real-time projects also, sometimes these versions really create a lot of issues because some things are not compatible, and then we have to go back to lower versions to make it compatible. Yes, 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 exactly, exactly. Uh, one thing I just want to add here: Do we have Gorang in the call? Yeah. Gorang, you are there in the call? I think he's on mute. You need to unmute him. Yeah, hi, Gorang, you're there. Yes, Hello? I'm there on the call. See, yeah, 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 I'm there on the call. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Gorang, just one, uh, one, one. Just, I just want you to share one experience with you. Like, just one example. You were trying to upgrade Mindbox, right? So, at the time of upgradation and version management, did you face all these issues? I just want to, I just want you to share your knowledge with the team so that we can uh, discuss on that. Uh, can you please share? Yes, yes, uh, with, yeah. First of all, it's very important to understand the version that you are, your S4 HANA is supporting. You can easily find it out using the SICF UIFI UIFI. Uh, the UIFI service, you can just test it and you'll know the version that you are actually on. And uh, uh, generally, when you are implementing any app, uh, first of all, it's very important that you uh, check. Or if you are even uh, coding, you just check uh, if there are some new controls that have you come up. Then you have to check what uh, that control is supporting you. Because uh, we were on uh, a very lower version of uh, uh, the first version of S4, and uh, we were using 1.38 system, and we had faced a lot of issues uh, because of the version management. Uh, so. Generally, WebID will give you the uh, uh, warning that when you are deploying the software on the project uh, on on the SAP Fury Launchpad, it will give you a warning that it is 1.38. But then still, you have to be very careful of what uh, what you are using and what you are not using. Yes, yes, exactly. So, uh, Gorang, thanks a lot for uh, bringing your knowledge, what you have experienced. Even we have experienced a lot of things. Uh, so, guys, what what main what main main thing Gorang is trying to say is. Our version, we have identified my system WebID version is 1.52, and how I know 18.09 is supporting 1.56 because there are a lot of deployments we have already done with the system, right? And Gorang has added one more thing, like in the SIC, if you can check your SAP system version also, so that is also one thing. So uh, Gorang, one request, you can just uh, give that path in the WhatsApp group so that these people can share it. You or Shikhar, anyone can do that. So, uh, so guys, not only in this. Uh, I'll 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 just mute everything now. Yes. Okay. So uh, I'll quickly add now. So guys, your version and your system version plays a very important role. Always use minus one policy. What does minus one policy says? If your if your SAP S4 HANA system is suppose 1.7, do not even use 1.7. Use 1.6 or one below that. Okay. So that is very important because that that would make you rest assured. Yes, things are in good shape. Things are working as the wait is fine. And anyways, we are on 1809 box, which is uh, which we can call it as a latest one. So that is it. So that is the main reason I have told, and uh, that is why Gorang has also added his own points, his own uh, real-time experience, so that you guys can even add more confidence on that. Okay, guys, uh, let's not uh, let's not consume more time. Please complete this activity as of now. And adding to this, adding to this, I know because I have interacted. One second. Guys, version management and all. See, we have an option in WebID in Manifest. We can change the version, but let's not do it. Say, for example, if you are using a higher control, if you are using a, I just this this, this will never impact you in case of CDS. Okay. Uh, one thing I just want to tell you is, if you are using a higher version, say for example in SAP UI5, and if you your system is not upgraded and you have used certain controls which only support the higher version, then you have to have a huge rework. 
for making it stabilized. So all these homework plays a very important role. Okay, yeah, uh, guys, quickly complete uh, activities you have to do as of now is complete this, register this as a service, create a overview project in Web IDE. From tomorrow we will start building carts. That is one thing. And one important thing is the F4 on which you can populate the data as expected. You already have done it via code based, not via config. So in your case, you don't even have to create a new annotation file. So complete that as well. These all three, four activities you have to do as of now. Maximum 15 minutes, be quick guys. <clears throat> yeah, Balu, you can uh, you can tell me now. <clears throat> can you guys hear me? Yeah, Vic. So yeah, I, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. Okay. Uh, so uh, I was just wondering uh, when we develop the analytical apps in the graph, other than filtering mm -hmm. the data, is it possible to add some custom actions on the chart? Uh, okay, okay. Uh, custom actions on the charts. You're talking about analytical list page. Yes. Okay, in the analytical list page, custom uh, customizations as in like you, like how you do in custom UFI, you implement smart chart, something like that. 
So yeah, what I'm saying is, let's say uh, there's a, a column chart. Okay. So when okay. the user oh, over, uh, just say it, he, he takes his mouse over the column. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rather showing the regular pop-up that we get. So let's say if we want to show some other information, or let's say when he clicks mm -hmm. on it, I want to do. Uh, let's uh, let's imagine I want to send an email. Okay. Which is uh, is very hypothetical. So I was wondering, is there any other? See, right now, what's happening when you when you click on the uh, on the graph, you can filter the data. So other than mm -hmm. that, is it possible to add any other custom actions? Uh, see, custom actions, I haven't, uh, I have, a, I have never tried because we didn't, uh, we didn't come across any requirements as such. But anyways, anyways, in any of the application, you have this option right there. So you can send email and you can save a title. So these customizations, like uh, Jam Press and all, you already have in this. Apart from, you can utilize these things, but uh, nothing apart from that. I, me, uh, basically, I have never explored it. And uh, Balu, just one one suggestion, uh, not uh, related to this, but uh, related to others. I believe you might have some experience in custom UFI web development and smart tables, controls, annotations, and many things, right? So, see, there are few things you can achieve. You can do a mixture of this as well as you can add. Like one example I'll give you in list report. In list report, if you want a multi-select dropdown, okay? So we have achieved it in one way using custom UI5 code and all. But uh, why we do not accept that is the reason is people are coming from ABAP background, ABAP on HANA background who have no experience on custom UI5. But for the people who already have knowledge, they can use either way, right? No, no company is going to ask you the code. Output matters in that case. So custom UI5 logics, you can integrate with this, okay? So we all we also have a document how it is developed. I can share it with you, and you can refer that document. Okay. So that is one thing you can use. And I uh, see I have never tried any customization of UI5 code, custom UI5 JS code with ALP. But I think if you do some r and I think you can definitely come in. One example of list report having a multi-select dropdown that I can share with you. With that, I think if you can try some r and that. It's just a thought that came to my mind. So basically, I was like, okay, so it filters me the data. So is it possible for me to do something else other than this? It's just a uh, thought see, to be very frank, to, yeah, yeah. Like to be very frank, we have not explored on that area. We have not explored on that area. Uh, so as uh, see, I cannot commit anything as of now. It can be or it cannot be. But these emails and all, you have these options here also, right? So you have it. Uh, you can either save it as style or send an email. These all things you can do. And adding to this, adding to this. If you want some labels to be uh, like, say, for example, if you want to mouse over and if you click your cursor here, something else should appear instead of this. So you can handle it via C, uh, CSS as well. Okay. So other thing was, uh, see, right mm -hmm. now what's happening, we're all just loading the data, right? So whatever is there on the table, we're just getting it and we're showing it. But in real time, we'll have one thing, yes, yes, yes. So yes, how, how does the access control work? Access control means access what data service you're talking about. No, no, no. I'm saying, let's say, uh, for the sales uh, app that you have developed, you have authorization mm -hmm. to sales org AA01, and I have sales org authorization to AA02. And mm -hmm. I should see my data, relevant data that is re data that is relevant to me. Okay, so how okay. is that then uh, in case of... Uh, uh -huh. Yes. yes, so you mean to say the restriction of data. If you log in in the Fiori Launchpad, some data different should appear. And if someone else is logging in, they should have a different set of data, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So, see, uh, uh, in CDS, I think based on the username, you can do some validations, but I'll tell you a better solution. Every The CDS file that you create, you do not have to use either it audit or publish through. You can utilize that CDS in a SCGW gateway project. You can import that CDS and you can redefine the methods and you can purely write the ABAP code. Okay. So with that ABAP code, you need to generate that service as underscore SRV. Now we are having as underscore CDS, right? So that you can register as underscore SRV and that service you can use in Fiori elements as well. Okay. So what are the uh, annotations that I've added on the CDS? Is it still? Hold that would be, no, no, no. That would not be impacted anywhere. See, whatever, see, one, I'll give you an example. Suppose uh, this is my CDS and a lot of logic is here, right? I will yeah. not do it. I will remove this piece of code and okay. the service will not be underscore CDS. In SEGW project, we I will be creating a Z custom project and we would be importing our CDS file there and there we can redefine and do whatever we want to. That's it. 
Uh, even I believe I have a document for that as well, so I can share the document to you either by tomorrow or Monday, and in ABAP you can play whatever you want to, right? All these things can be managed in ABAP very easily. A uh, way, uh, but there is one other way, as Palu was telling, no, we can do mm -hmm. that as well by using the TCL, data control language. Okay, okay, no, no, see, that uh, whatever he's saying, that is one, one thing that you told that can be done, but the one thing is for sure, you don't have to use ODATA published tool, you can remove this code, and this CDS, you can create a fresh project in Gateway, and then above what all manipulations you want, you can do it. We have all the methods, get entity, get set, and all the five methods. So, Balu, I'm not sure about your previous experience, but if you have a command in above, you can easily do it in that way as well, and that service, will not be exposed as, sorry, sorry, my bad. That will not be exposed as underscore CDS. That would be underscore SRV. And yes, this SRV can be exposed to Fiori elements as well. That is 100% sure. Where, where do you mean to say like yes, you want us to expose CDS as a data source? No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. In one sense, you are saying this CDS, we will be using it in our gateway, and then once we I register this in the gateway client. Yes, yes, yes. So, Satya, this is basically okay. mapping your CDS as a gateway project, uh, like to the Odata SRV service. I know, I know, I know how it is. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that same. same and, uh, yes, yes. Uh, guys, adding to this one more. See, this sales, Z sales data, I'll give you one example of this. In this Z sales data underscore, ha underscore head, I have tried multiple different, different kind of keys, and I have used at the rate UI identification. When I was trying to navigate, I'm not even see, able to see the data. So we have achieved that by writing some above code in that, okay? Monday, I'll completely prepare a document and I'll send it to you guys. So Satya, you know, but not everyone may not be knowing that. So they can uh, practice the same. And we have used some part of ABAP code and we have did it, okay? So Monday or Tuesday, just give me some time. I'll prepare a document and I'll send it to you with this same example so that if you want to replicate, it can be very easy for you. So what do you mean, uh, so can you show some example for the selection and presentation variants? Uh, selection and presentation variants? Yeah, I mean, there are some other See, things. Presentation variant we have used in our analytical list space, right? This is our presentation variant. Uh, I'm seeing some disturbance. Yeah, so there's something like a selection uh, variant, and you can, you can also combine both of them into a different annotation called selection presentation variant. Yes, yes, I know that. Okay. Okay, just give me some time on that. Maybe let me make an example for that and maybe I can come back to you. If not during the training, then we can definitely get a document for you and you can get it done. Okay. Selection presentation, yes, 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 I can, I, and I know that I'll, I'll get back to you on that. Let me do some example because I don't have some example handy. Let me have an example so that once I have an example, I can explain you in a better way and we can get things done, okay? But guys, uh, one, one more thing I want you guys to try out is Z sales data, try to do some, uh, if you have some time today, you do some navigation, create a, create a list report. We have did it for rebate, right? Create a list report for this and use at the rate UI identification and just tell me whether your navigation is working or not. As what I have tried before, it wasn't working for me. I don't know the reason. So I migrated this to the ABAP code and I have written the logic and the get entity method and I have did everything, whatever is required. So with that approach, it worked fine, but directly with this, it didn't work for me with this table. Even I, I was not sure what was the reason, and we were running late for delivery, so I had to do with that approach. Okay, today, whenever you have time, use this table, create a list report, use some files, and try to do some identification. Guys, last five minutes, be quick.
Guys, uh, I believe some of you have done and some are still doing. Be quick. Uh, one thing what I have to write as a part of activity is. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. So you are getting it now. Guys, uh, Shekhar, just uh, one request to you. Just check if someone is not able to see these options and you can help them the way you have helped other people uh, using by building some code in the manifest. Okay. So that is one thing that is important. Okay, so the next thing, yeah. Activity is a part of today's assignment. Create a list report using this CDS file, I mean using this table. Create a CDS, create a list report using this table. I won't mention the steps here, you guys know the steps. Create a list report using this table and try to apply navigations. Try to apply navigations. Let me know the output tomorrow whether it is working or not. Okay. I tried it was not working for me long before, but I want you guys to try it out and let me know whether it is working for you or not. Okay. This is one important thing. Apart from that, this is one thing. Cards and everything is working for everyone. That is fine. Yes. Complete the selection field. Complete the selection field value help. In OVP project that we have created now using code based approach that you guys have already done. So guys, these are the two things that I'm expecting you guys to do it by tomorrow and come back to me. First is create a list report, create a list report with this and do it. Create a list report using this, uh, like I have told you, I won't tell the complete steps as all of you know. Create a list report using this, give some properties, expose and register as a service and try to apply at the rate UI identification using some navigations and let me know whether you are able to navigate or not. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, so you are correct, like rebate, exactly you have to use some line items and at the rate UI identification, do it for this table. And tomorrow, let me know whether navigation is working for you or not. That is important. Shekhar, uh, Chandra is facing some issues with his line chart. Uh, please help him today whenever you are free. Yes. <coughs> okay, guys, last two minutes of revision. What all things we have done so far? First of all, we have created an overview project. Let's understand few things in overview project. Uh, first of all, we have a separate CDS file for every card that we create. Overview page in overview page, basically the main cards that are uh, that are uh, uh, taken as a part of requirement is your table card, analytical card, and list card if required. The rest two cards you can explore on your own if you if even if you have some, if you have some extra time for that. Apart from that. Apart from that, over in overview page, each and every each and every control is a draggable. You can see each and every control populating as a tile. It is a draggable long tile. You can drag from one place to another. Adding to this, guys, one thing I want to tell you: tomorrow we are going to start with table card. So, in case of table card, what I have experienced is we are not able to create more than three columns. Okay, uh, do not explore anything as of now. Do not create it. Do not rush. Okay, you might not be able to, now it is not a time to rush and show the output, it is a time to learn small, small things that can contribute a lot in future. Okay, so that is important. So we are not able to create more than three columns, but anyways, as a part of weekend, I can give you, if you want, you can explore whether more than three columns can be done or not. Okay, that was my finding that I had it. 
okay so that is one thing so shekhar just one thing just connect uh, like uh, whenever you are free just help chandra on the line chart wherever he stuck up chandra better you can post your code your screenshot in the group so that not only him others can also help you let's keep it more interactive you have a team of 40 people uh, apart from that one important thing is make sure these two things are done i want to hear the answer from you all how whether this is working for you or not i want this for sure and both the things are actually important right please complete these both the things and uh, come back to me tomorrow with a solution whatever it is right we this batch has amazing people who have lot of knowledge many people already know lot of things from before and they are sharing their knowledge like anything i am extremely happy this is one of the best batch we have received so far so we have lot of skillful people we are exploring a lot of things so just come up with these two things tomorrow and let me know okay and guys if you are stuck up technically post your code post your output screenshot output people are very helpful they will help you okay and things can work more faster okay guys so thank you so much uh, see you all tomorrow yeah yeah goran uh, yeah yeah goran you want to say something tell me okay one second can we please discuss the assignment for some time before we start the topic yeah yeah sure we can discuss the assignment okay sure so tomorrow 10 to 15 minutes we will dedicate on this i will uh, my questions are already done each and everyone who has done it we will discuss their approach and we will finalize which is the best approach we have discussed so far yes initial 10 to 15 minutes we will only discuss for assignment gorang your point is valid and that would be taken care from tomorrow not a problem and thanks for bringing in no navig no no guys navigation means simple at the rate ui identifications whatever you do that is a simple navigation one example what i want to give here is say for example there is a field called as distribution channel description that is not part of my line item that is not part of my selection field but still i want to navigate to second page that we have written repeat so similarly you can try it out here okay <coughs> okay uh, thank you all thank you for giving me your time see you all tomorrow